Hey guys, Terrence here. I have a misfire issue with my avalanche and I'm gonna fix it today. I'm gonna film the whole thing. I'm gonna diagnose the problem while I'm filming so you guys can see what the issue is and what's causing my truck to drive like crap. Uh, the service engine light is blinking. When I get up to speed, maybe 40, 50 miles an hour, it starts blinking and it's driving sluggish and terrible. So let's diagnose the problem and see what's happening. Okay, we're here. We're supposed to have an extremely bad storm tonight. That's in Chicago. And we're gonna see what the problem is. I haven't started in a few days, but we're gonna see what's the issue right now before I get started. Let's breathe some cold before we get started. Let's see what's happening with this truck. I've been so busy, I haven't had time to mess with it, but I have to now. see what the issue is. Ten seconds, just wait and see what's going on. Focused. I don't know why I didn't read the first time. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> How sluggish this thing is driving, I wouldn't be surprised if a bunch of codes pop up. Let's go back. 103. This is the problem. As far as it's driving sluggish. Let's see, the other codes has to be related probably. Six codes popping up. I don't know if this is due to the vehicle driving as sluggish as it's driving. Well, I don't know, I need to fix the mix fire first, and then we'll go from there because it wasn't throwing any codes at first, but these are emissions related codes, so this probably is not gonna, the, me fixing the mix fire, fixing the misfire won't probably clear these codes, but let's see why Southern 3 is misfire when I just changed the uh, wires uh, the ignition coils and I just changed all spark plugs to iridium on this thing so let's see what the issue is my only guess is the fuel injector and I have some new injectors for this truck too so fingers crossed let's oh, another see. thing I didn't want to I want to keep it cold since I'm working on it that's why I didn't start it As you guys can see I just changed all these coils and wires and spark plugs uh, about maybe four months ago so i'm guessing this is one three five seven of course the other side is the even numbers so this one is where i'm getting the issue at i'm thinking this second injector is bad the issue is, well, lies here or here it shouldn't lie here and i'm gonna find out i'm gonna plug and see so I will start it for a second and I'm gonna unplug each one to see if the, the tune of the engine changes. To see if, I just think the injector's bad. I really do, for some reason. It'll suck if it's this coil. You know, it's an aftermarket coil. I wouldn't be shocked though, I wouldn't be surprised. So, let me hook my phone up on my little tripod and we're gonna unplug each one to see what happens. There's a gray locking tab on top of this. Get some plies and pull it off for the injector. Just getting everything set. Then you can remove it. Just... 
I'll put it back until I start the vehicle. And I'll do some pliers. Okay, let's get the... Cool, ready to pop off. Okay. All right, I'm gonna do one at a time and see if the tune of the engine changes. No different with the coil. That's yeah, running bad too. No different with the injector. I know I can swap the coil out. They give me a better indication as to which one, if the coil is bad or not. But it's a new coil. I didn't get any change from doing neither. I took this wire off. Let me see if it's sparking down here. Okay, let me start it again. We find out the issue. Yeah, if you ever do that, make sure you get some rubber gloves on, cause that thing will shock the life out of you. It's definitely sparking. So what I did was, instead of swapping the coils out, I took the boot off the spark plug itself. I took the boot off the spark plug and just let it hang down there. So the cord is definitely putting out. I have a bad injector on this truck and we're gonna swap it out. Yeah, so instead of Taking time out to swap the coils to see um, if the coil is bad or not. If to see if the uh, the coil follows cylinder five. If you swap the coil, the coil out to cylinder five, and see if the coil follows the misfire follows that. That's a a good way to do it as well. But an easier, quicker way is to just take the boot off that spark plug, and I mean spark plug wire. Take the boot spark plug wire off the spark plug and just let it hang down there. You're gonna see sparks flying. And then as you know, the coil is putting out. So we don't have a coil issue. We have a bad injector issue. And we're gonna swap it out. First thing you're gonna do, remove the negative side on the battery. Nope, not 10 millimeter, eight millimeter. The free line is also eight millimeter. I don't, I'm not taking the two back ones all the way out. I'll just take them out partially. So I'm just gonna lift that rail up some. This line has pressure from the fuel pump. So there's a straighter valve over here to the roof. I'll show you guys. Yeah, there's a straighter valve on the passenger side of this truck on the fuel rail right there. And I can relieve some of the pressure from the rail. Cause once you remove that injector, fuel is gonna spray everywhere. So I could have pulled the fuel and let the um, pump shut down and not pump any gas up and let it just run out. Let the car, let the truck uh, turn off on its own when it run out of gas or stop receiving gas from the sending unit. I could have done that. Just stop gas from spraying everywhere. But I also can just, Stick a screwdriver. I've done this 
a gazillion times. I know gas is gonna spray everywhere. See, look at that. Wasn't much, just a little skirt to leave that pressure. So I'll get some drippage when I remove the plug. I mean the injector itself. So let's get the I'll lift that rail up a little bit. Pop that clip off that injector and slide him out. That straighter valve is also for connection. You can connect the fuel pressure gauge there to get fuel pressure readings. So there's a metal clip here. I'm just gonna pull it forward. There it goes. There's a new one on the fuel injector, so I don't need it, but I'll just keep it. All right, we got it out. And we got a little gas leakage. Just a little bit. It's cold. Okay, we got the injector out. Let me get the new one. So... Look at the injectors. Man, it sucks. One of the holes. Look, Clark. I don't know. Has four, this has two. All right, let me see what I can do. I may have an injector for this truck. Let me look. I'll be back in a second. Back. This computer truck is running. Since I contacted the people that sent me the wrong part and they're sending me the new part, it won't be here for a few days. Um, I decided to use carbon coat chain and I'm taking the injector out. Put the injector on my vice and put it on something and just spray down in, into it. Let the carbon choke paint is sitting there and let it sit through on its own. And a couple minutes later, just put it in and stuff is running back perfect. So I'm not sure how long that's going to last, but it took a plane to work just as it was before I started driving the plug. So I'm going to monitor for the next couple of days and see how it turns out. I'll leave the top off for right now. I'm grabbing like this. And we'll go from there. So, stay tuned. Okay, guys, since I didn't film, let me clean the injector. I use the carb cleaner. This is for demonstrational purposes only. I found an old injector. I just spray down in the hole. This is exactly what I did to the injector on the avalanche. I let it sit for a couple minutes. But I let I kept spraying it and I let some sit in there. And after a few minutes I kind of blew through it. Of course I put a cloth over it and blew through it. Make sure it's cleared out. And I sprayed the back part. So it's different than this one, but same setup, same cleaning process. Just want to show you guys since I didn't film it. And I like to be critical. I'm very detailed with my videos. And I left that detail out because I didn't think it was gonna work. So I just cleaned it before I installed it, before I reinstalled it until the new one comes. So we're gonna see how that plays out in the next few days. And I'll be back in a second with the update and finish this video. Okay guys, the injector came, the new injector came. Uh, this is what I'm up against today. It's freezing ice everywhere.
pry the door open to get into the truck. But the, the old injector is still working fine after three weeks of driving. The new injector been arrived, it came here. It came within a few days of me ordering it. And, but it's been driving well, it's still running good now. However, a few days ago, it went back to misfiring and the code popped up, uh, cylinder three once again, misfiring on cylinder three. So to avoid that, I don't wanna keep uh, going back and forth with this thing misfiring. I'm just gonna replace the, uh, the injector and just put everything back together so I don't have to worry about it anymore. So, let's get started. I'll put the link in the description box for this particular injector because they are expensive. I'll show you guys what I paid for this. I got a great deal on it. So, let's uh, get this swapped out. Before we get started, I want you guys to see that temperature. This is cold start. I want to show you guys that it is running smooth still. Look at the temperature. Still down. Any gas, good lord. It's running perfect. So, I don't have to change it, but I'm going to change it because I want to get it over with and finish this video out. But I clinked that injector and it's running great. The service engine light on now, the service engine light is on because of uh, the EVAP system. It's acting crazy on this car. Okay, guys, got the new injector in. There's the old one. Which is still working okay for now. But the new one's in. Uh, let's start it, see how it runs. Seems good. Ooh. Okay, guys, we'll wrap the video up. I'll place the cover back on. Got a bunch of more videos coming. So. Stay tuned for the channel, I got a lot of more cool stuff coming. The reason why I've been so full so on uploading videos is because we're in a big move right now. I'm moving, we moved to my other house, we sold it, and um, it's been about a two month process because I got so much stuff, and uh, this is the last week, so I'll be uploading tons of videos in a minute that I took, uh, that I shot, and some cool stuff. So stay tuned. But if you like the video, if you found it helpful, subscribe to the channel. Terrence and I'm